So he gets it while he's reading on the train, but then the train stops because it has no function. And he goes outside and he tries to get a signal to call his parents, but then the train starts moving, so he misses the train. So he, has, he goes on these adventures to find his parents, and he meets um, some people, some new friends. to enter in the Triwizard Tournament put their name in the Scoblet of Fire. But you can only be 17. And for some reason, after they call 
the 17 year olds were Hogwarts 7 Cedric Diggory, the Goblin of Fire, oh, the Starts on Fire again, and Harry Potter's name. But he was only 14. And he did not put his name in the doesn't, he never goes to make trouble because the one's always playing fire. And he has to deal with having to survive in these, in these three tasks. It's called Hatchet, and it's by a guy named Gary Paulson. So Hatchet is about a boy, and his parents are divorced, and his mom lives somewhere in America. I can't remember where. And um, his dad lives in oil fields in Canada, so he, that's where he works and lives too. So one, so one summer, well, winter, I think. Well, I can't remember what season, but all I know is that it was cold in Canada. So one, I'm going to say summer, one summer, the boy Brian, who's the main character, was flying on a bush plane to um, see his dad in the oil fields in Canada, and all of a sudden the plane driver, the bush plane driver, has a heart attack and passes out and dies. So now he has very little lessons because when he was the, because when he was on the plane, the pilot told him how to, how to turn left, right, and how to pull up and down so he knew how to fly a plane very slightly so he had nothing he had no idea what to do so eventually he had he crashed into a lake and he survived so then it was a whole survival situation he had to get food keep himself safe from bears and other animals make shelter make fire and all that and the only thing he has is something is a hatchet which is um which he got from his dad that he carries on his uh, belt loop all the time. So that's it. Yeah. And if you wanna, if you're after you're reading this, if you wanna, if you wanna read a sequel, the sequel is called Brian's Winter. taken to jail and their parents are taken away from them say, saying that they would never see them again and the beginning is it starts as I'm not a criminal a city's worth of angry faces staring at me like I am which I promise you I'm not the stadium is filled to capacity has capacity there are no football teams here today This total of domination is being broadcast on TV and internet too. All the useless magazines are here. All the newspapers. They don't care. There are no tears, no words of protest, no first words in solitude. Not a good day for all of us. all of us. In fact, it looks like it'll be our last. So, they're trying to escape from these group of people trying to arrest them. And then while they're arresting them, they, the girl on the cover, like she kind of like spontaneously combusts. <laughs> and her brother is trying to help her when he thinks she's in trouble. So, that's the case to what happens. Spontaneously combust. Spontaneously combust. 
This is these are two books out of the trilogy called Merlin's Dragon. It's about a, like a little lizard who sort of starts out with eggs, so you might be confused in the first little bit of the book. And if it's sort of about a little lizard who grows up, not really grows up, he is born by this tree that Merlin planted. Well, in a fight. And the tree sort of grows into a country. Not a country, a, like a dimension, almost. So, in this world, it's like a whole world. In this world, there are a couple of, there's a couple of, um, and there's a couple of realms. There's the earth realm, there's like stone roots, they call them roots. There's air roots, fire roots, shadow roots, uh, wood roots, stone roots, you get the idea. So, and there are many creatures, and well, Merlin is getting married in the book, and the wizard crashed his wedding. And then he sees a god in the book, like, he actually, like an actual one of the gods, the mortal one in this book, and he sort of helps him, and he says, you are no mere dragon. He the book, he the thing in it. And so he ends up going on this wild adventure, and save, well, not necessarily saving the world, it doesn't even have to So, he sort of goes on a wild adventure, helps people, helps things, tries to get stuff done, helps everything. And, and, well, yeah, if you like, I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil this book for you. And at the end of these books, there, and then, um, if you like fantasy, you will like this book. If you like adventure, you will like this book. If you like mystery, you will like this book. Um, so, this book is called Bad Unicorn, and it's a, a sea unicorn who's eating bones and spearing squirrels. So, it's about, um, it's about this, um, guy who, like, he's, he's on the bus, he's in seventh grade, and he has this book, it's called Codex. So, ooh, magic happens, magic happens, magic happens when there's books of strange things. Um, and so he's, like, looking for the book, and... And apparent and it turns out that he's like part wizard or something. And there's like three different worlds. And they're in the first and second one. And the first one, there's a unicorn called Princess Little Strider. I kid you not, it's Princess Little Strider. <laughs> so, um <laughs> So uh So she and uh she and she and her wizard are trying to find a book and it's in a, it's in a parallel dimension. So <laughs> and then so the guy has the book and he gets teleported into the future because he actually sees a spell without knowing it. And then Princess the Destroyer finds him and then he has to run from the unicorn. Princess and the it's surprisingly funny. Is that a school spine? No. But that's a tag. You can't take one dollar. So. Yeah, it's just stabbing for And there's like little extras in the book, which is seriously one of the best parts. And because that has part of the zombie ducks and the pyro pigeons. <laughs> and other assorted birds. So, yeah. Woo! The people of sparks. And this is how the cover looks. So, the people, this is the sequel to the City of M. This book is good because um, it's like a sequel to the book, and it's very, it's very interesting, and it kind of pulls you in. Like it's basically how um, about how two people, uh, how two groups of people interact with each other, and uh, yeah. That's basically what it's about. It, it's a, it's, it's kind of adventurous. It's kind of adventurous. It's kind of, it's adventurous. It's uh, it's very, advent yeah, adventurous uh, and other stuff. Adventurous um, science fiction. Uh,
here are the genres. Adventure, science fiction, um, there, yes, he's in there, people. <laughs> Oh, whoops, sorry. So, that's basically it. I know this wasn't the most interesting. So, the book is called Unwind, as you can see. Okay. Um, so, it's like about these three kids that, uh... Okay, let's, let's, I'll tell you what it's about first, before the, the characters. Um, so, after the Second Civil War, there was this thing um, where parents could unwind, which means like take all their like stuff and organs and lungs and, and other stuff um, uh, out of their body. So and then so through it, the through the ages 13 and 18, your child could, the parents could um, choose if their child will be unwound or not. So and then there's these three characters that try to run away from being unwound. Connor, which is a boy, Lisa, the girl, and then Lev, he, um, he was, okay, there's two kinds, uh, there's unwound, which is like, you've done something bad, and then there's tip, I think it's pronounced, um, where you like, where you were born to be, like, unwound, so you're like, a little more special, and stuff, so, um, Lev was the character that was special, um, Connor and Lisa were gonna be unwound because, Oh, this good. This book is good for uh, people who like horror. Kind of, it's not too scary. It's like maybe, uh, maybe a little bit scary. And yeah, medium. medium. Just read it. Read it. Um, and it's for uh, action too. A lot of action. Dating to normal. Um, favorite book ever. It's about like a girl who had like a stepdad and they had to like 